was popping home since your boyfriend made it back in the building. I finally made it back to a spot where I haven't been in three years. I'm in uh, Palm Beach Lake. This is the Nike outlet that I visited three years ago. I remember vividly because I remember we had a situation, I think, SX Tishion or Tishion. I remember um, me leaving the Foot Locker in the Florida Mall and my trip to Miami that he got shot and he was like Tomacos and he died in the, in the vicinity of where I was traveling and it was all over the radio, all over Twitter. And that was June 18, 2018. That was that day. So this must be three years since I've been here to this spot, this Nike outlet, man. But I want to bring all that drama to y'all, bring this video down before it starts. So let's go inside and see what's popping, man. Let's see what's in the building. Last time I've been here, they had the uh, Air Jordan 1s. Um, was it the All-Star joints, the Los Angeles joints? The one with the pressed leather, the black and gold joints? Yeah, that's what was here. So I'm, I'm sure we will all kill for those now because I hard pass on those when I saw them. Anyways, man, I'll see y'all inside. This is different. This is a tennis shirt. 21 beans, the dry shirt, nope. I like how they got the Nike on the chest with a little tag. That's dope, that's unique. Not bad, probably $21. Nike spoof stitch. The Roman numerals on the, on the left side of the shirt. How much is this one for? $21, not bad. Nike. I like this t-shirt, Team USA, with the eagle. USA on the back with a bigger eagle. It's white, but it's going for retail game, which is $30. That's cool. Anyways, let's take it to the back and see what's popping. Let's take a look and see what shoes is in the building. What are these? Virginia. Okay. Okay. Yep, I figured this would happen. We got Jordan 7, Flint's in the outlet, but it's probably gonna go for retail because i don't see no price on them nope they also got the 2.0 animal instincts threes size eight and a half though no price on this and a whole bunch of lebrons all right let's see what's oh wow oh wow there's nothing in the aisles y'all this is the first time i've ever seen this this is crazy y'all wow there's nothing here that means they may not even have a jordan on this is a basketball aisle. Ain't nothing shaking in here, y'all. Got the Kyrie's, but we got those back in Orlando. We got these back in Orlando. LeBron's I don't care for. They got the, the hair LeBron soldiers. We're going for 100 beans, multiple sizes and those. On the other side, ain't much either, except for the PG4s. And we seen these in our outlet, Tampa outlet, Orlando outlet. So there's nothing unique. Now these do look, look kind of tight. I like the color on this. Challenge. 90 beans for these? Okay. Keeping them moving. I'm gonna take a quick look at the hash wall, see if there's anything popping. They got the Jordans uh, Cleek 10s, black and gold. Passing on that. Oh wow. Y'all see anything? No problem. You probably don't. Anyways, let's keep continue looking in the aisles, man. We got the hippie joints, 130. We got those back at the crib. Orlando be in the crib. <laughs> I'm at uh, Palm Beach Lakes, man. So I'm in an area where I don't live traveling back home so in a route we decided to stop here at the palm beach lake nike outlet what was here curious is it pretzels rack pretzels the black joint what was here i'm here wrestling with it it looks like that's what was here the 70 beans hard pass on those okay wow back at the crib in orlando we got these for 69 i think tampa is on for 69 as well we got them here for 109 and they got these uh, Air Max, the EOIs with the Air Max 90 on the side. That's the fundamental difference between these and the regular Air Max uh, 2090s. They got air on the side and the EOIs have the Air Max on the side. Multiple sizes in those. Man, okay. First time I seen 97 in the building in a long time. These are the purple joints. And they're going for retail, bro. 180. It's all small sizes though, all small sizes. And what's these? Now this is different. 129 is the price for the Air Max three days. That's different, yeah. 
pull tab on the back Air Max unit on the back here, but it's a little bit different though. That's a whole different Air Max unit. That's retail gang, y'all. Okay. The Air Max 90 Fly E's in the black, same price in Orlando, so that's cool. A few sizes left in those. I do see bigger sizes like 11 and a half. Uh, more of the 2090s for 109. This is like the black, white, and wolf gray. 109. 109 is the price on those. Oh, they got the black joints here too as well. If y'all care for them, man. Uh, this color I have not seen before. 109 is, yeah, we did. We did see this color before. I have, we saw this in Orlando. I forgot what store though. I want to say Violin. And I have to multiple sizes in those. Okay, I think this is the heat wall, y'all. <laughs> this gotta be the heat wall, man. Phone posit for 230. These are just sitting on the on the shelf, probably one of each. Uh the EVO's Air Max. More Air Max. But I do like this 95 though. This is going for 190. So they got these LeBron mix, bro, which I do want, but don't have them in the size. Nah, he checked. And I have them in my size. These are dope. It's one of the LeBron 8s that I would prefer to buy. What is the 8s or 7s? I'm tripping. It's one of the 8s I would prefer to buy, bro. These are cool. These are 7s, so, though. Uh, not as fancy for these joints as I am for those. I did cop these, the baseball joints. You know what I'm saying? I do like these. They're going for 200. I didn't ask for my size, but... Oh, let me show y'all another thing, man. Um, I got a pair of Air Jordan 4s. What do they call them? Damn, I forgot what they call them now. Dunk Above. That's what this remind me of, the Dunk Above 4s. Y'all remember that shit? Came out like four years ago. Uh, it was an Air Jordan 4 in exactly this colorway. This joint is huge, man. This one for 120. That's dope. I did acquire about this shoe because y'all know I saw this in Tampa, um, but they didn't have my size in Tampa, size 12. I needed, but they only had size 11 and a half. Same thing here, they only have size 11 and a half. So I couldn't cop this. So I asked about this colorway right here. Um, this big joint is all red. Do not have my size in this. So then I asked about this colorway right here, but did not have my size either. So it was a hard pass and all of them are going for 219. And you already know, I have this joint right here. I have this colorway. And then up here, we got the Air Max versions and these are going for retail gang. So hard pass for me. But this is apparently the heat wall though. I got a few dope shoes that I actually like, but none of my sauce. So I'm in the women's section, and before I get out of here, man, I wanna show y'all some Air Jordan 6. I like this colorway. Now, I'm gonna put that plastic piece on the midfoot. This would be would be dope, but I think it's a women's shoe on top of that, so it's too negative regarding this shoe, but everything about this shoe is dope, man. The colorway, I like that outsole. It's really dope. And then lastly, before I get out of here, they got the Fly E's in the white and gold joint for 80 beans. Again, these are women, or GS, or actually this is GS. My price not bad, $80 for those. And that's it, y'all. That's all you're getting. Nothing more else to record. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, man. Three years since I've been here, man. So I had to pull up and see what's popping, y'all. I had to. Before I get out of here, man, I see these, um, I don't know, feature, feature. Oh, they're actually platinum tent, black and blue for $55. This is the 2090s for women, size Y. There's a few sizes left in these too, bro. That's dope, that's a dope price. Especially for females, the 200, 50 beans for these. Um, seven Y. Out here is fairly clean, bro. It's really nice out here. It's really nice out here, man. I like how they got the lights. It's a lot of space. Other outlets, I feel like really congested. The corridors is not wide enough to accommodate the traffic and flow that you will see for outlets, man. Usually people visit outlets when they're in town from on vacation, right? That's when the influx of uh, people from out of, out of state, out of country. So this is designed perfectly for that. It's big old canopy too, in case it rains. Uh, I've been to a lot of outlets, man, and I feel like it's very more open doors. And rightly so, we're in Florida, so it makes sense. Uh, there's a Converse to the right of me. But we're gonna venture into Adidas. Hopefully this vlog ain't too long. Um, Hurley's, we do have a Levi's. I haven't been to a Levi's in a minute. I might pop my head in there real quick. Let's see what's popping. Yo, Adidas have a line. I'm not about to wait in that line. And the store look real small, so we're gonna skip that, man. I'll meet y'all at the crib, yo, when I complete my travels. And welcome back to the office. Yo, I'm not gonna conclude this video right here because I did some other clips I gotta show you guys. As I was finding some images of some shoes I found in the building for this outlet, because I haven't been there in three years, right? I told y'all that, I mentioned that early on in the video. Well, as I was finding some images, I came across some other clips roughly around the same month 
and year, June 2018. And those clips were from Marshalls. Back then I was visiting Marshalls like maybe once a month and I was finding some clips and I would make like a massive Marshalls vlog. But some of the shoes that I found in these clips made tears come down my eyes. Cause the shoes and prices I saw would make any grown man cry who collects shoes, man. So peep this clip. I'm gonna go and change, get freshened up, and I'll be back and we'll conclude it there, man. <sighs> Sadness all over my body, man. I'll see y'all in a bit. Peace. So currently we in Ross. These are some Kobe 11s. I like this colorway. What are these hitting for? $50, not bad. Not bad. Nice. Yo, why is he still here, bro? Wow. Red colorway. I tried them on. They're on my size, size 12. But they want $75. This is my monthly visit to Ross where I take pictures and videotape what has changed and make one bulk video to display what I have found at Ross over the months. Some Chicago 31s, not bad, my size, size 12. And these are hitting for $60, man. Not bad, bro, not bad. I'm not sure if I'm a cop yet. I also found a pair of shoes that I actually own. These Pepper Air Force One Fly Knits. Not bad, $55, real good price. Found some more uh, 29s. I don't know what colorway this is, but these are size 14 and they're hitting for $60. Not bad for it. Um, I don't know, this price good? Let me know, $70, is that a good price? But these are size 14. Air Maxes at Ross. These are size seven and they're hitting for $50. This would impress me if I haven't already sold them for a lot cheaper before and outwards. But yeah, man. Not bad. I can't get no break. But anyways, man, thank God for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I found that footage sorting through um, June 2019 footage and I came across vlogs and I know I didn't post that much vlogs, especially back then. So I want to hit y'all over the head with that. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It's crazy to see the prices <laughs> for shoes back then man the jordan 30s i think i call them 29 mistakenly there was some jordan 30s the black cats and the gym reds that was hitting for roughly around 75 to 80 dollars they also had the chicago 31s those were hitting for 70 dollars they had the kobe team basketball purple and white joints what would i do to have them right now right it is what it is um that was going for 65 and that's not the first time i saw kobe's in there they usually had a whole they usually usually have Kobe shoes back when. Um, I just never copped them because I was like, yo, they don't have the box. No need for them. <laughs> Stupid me. Stupid us. I'm sure I'm not the only one um, that can make that point or argue that point. But anyways, man, I'm gonna conclude it. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to this channel, like what you just saw, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. And everyone, keep leaving your comments down below and your boy get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, until we meet again, you already know my slogan. Good to go. I had to do it with this hand, man, so. My other hand's holding the camera. Peace.